Hi everybody, welcome back. You are watching Philosophy with Kerry Key. Today we are going to talk about fingerprints. In my spiritual studies, I learned a lot about palmistry. Fingerprints are definitely the coolest aspect of this study. And so, let's get into it. Let's start with some interesting facts regarding fingerprints. One, they are an evolutionary mystery, meaning we do not know why we have them. We used to believe that they were for friction and grip, but new studies have completely dismissed this theory. The only reason we believed that they were for grip is because koalas have pretty much exactly the same fingerprints. I'll get into that more in a minute. So koalas have prints like us and they are really great at climbing trees. But we do not understand them or their complexity at all. Fingerprints are formed patterns on the end of each finger that yeah, we just don't understand. So as I mentioned before with the koalas, the only beings of Earth that have fingerprints are koalas, chimpanzees, gorillas and humans. Every individual has a unique print. There has never been a matched print, even in that of twins or even just opposite fingers. Although, Prints are often similar in groups of ethnicity, so the bloodline and the hereditary. Now, this goes by not the locations of these groups, but the ethnicity that they are born into. Even severely damaged prints will always stay, meaning that when new skin comes, they will resurface again. To date, the only things that can wipe a print away completely are certain diseases, which I will also get into. In our ancient world, they used fingerprints quite highly to sign contracts and things like that. In ancient Babylon, this has been proven and many other cultures where they would use the fingerprint to sign a contract or yeah, to give their identification in some kind of way, making this an endless source of identification. Whether the print is high or low on the finger shows intellect or practicality, meaning that the higher the print shows more intellect and the lower the print is said to show more practicality and a more practical person. So, the right hand of a woman is said to show her past readings in palmistry. The left hand is said to show her future readings. This is opposite for a man. So for a man, a right hand would show the future and then a left hand would show the past. And this is also opposite for people who are left-handed. Using certain technologies, drugs can show up in our fingerprints and this has been often used in major crime scenes and things like that. The drugs show up in the molecules of the print. As I mentioned before, there are certain diseases and illnesses that can damage or completely erase the prints, but this is rarer than rare. The disease called adamatoglyphia not sure if I said that correctly. <laughs> Very long word. This is a condition that only extends between five extended family lines globally. So like I said, extremely rare. People with adamatoglyphia suffer not many symptoms or not much at all other than the loss of the print making them unreadable. Studies have been conducted and shown that people who have this disease also have slight mutations in the chromosomes of their DNA. Very interesting. Fingerprints are one of the earliest features we develop in the womb. 
They seem to be an important addition to the art of our past, often printed onto tombs such as tombs in Egypt, um, not only that, they are scattered into pottery and decorated into a lot of ancient artifacts, showed as symbols not only as identification, but portrayed as cultural, cultural art. This could prove that maybe our ancient ancestors understood them better than we do, just as they understood quite a lot more than we do. In palmistry, the hand resembles the constellation of planets from when we are born. So each finger relates to a planet. The thumb. The thumb typically isn't related to a planet, although some people who study palmistry believe that it is connected to um, Venus and Mars as it is up around those areas. The fingers are also related to characteristics. So the thumb is in relation to logic and will. And then we have the index finger. The index finger is related to Jupiter and the element of water. This bearing characteristics of ego, motivation and also the emotional state. Then we have the middle finger which is controlled by Saturn. This holds characteristics of patience, persistence and the balance of the mind and body. And the element is Earth. Then we have the ring finger in association with Apollo or the Sun. Here we have aspects of loyalty, creativity and cooperation. This finger's element is fire. Then we have the baby finger, our little finger. And the characteristics here are connection to the spirit world, spirituality, libido, and just communication in general. Also interesting to note that although our ancient ancestors did associate Apollo with the sun, they believed that the true name for Apollo was in relation to Mercury. Mercury was what they named Apollo. Mercury would be named Apollo when it was visible in the morning sky and then at night it would be called Mercury. Also simple Sumerian maths was counted on the different flanexes of the fingers. Another interesting fact is that we don't know why the thumb is related to meaning good and the middle finger means offence, or middle and index. Females have more arched fingerprints than males, males have more wells than females, and talking about ethnicity, um, the Chinese have more wells. Also, Europeans tend to have more loops. Before I get into um, giving you guys all the information about the prints exactly, I will tell you about something else as well. In ancient India, they practiced Nadi astrology. This is also still practiced today, and it's still very believed in. Nadi astrology is said to show the past, present and future for each individual. So they would take the print of a thumb, left for a female, right for a male, and they would study these prints and from that they would be able to calculate all these predictions. Also if you have trouble reading your prints, it's a good idea to look at the Try radius on each finger so that at the very bottom there should be forked out bits that look kind of like a Y or like a triangle. There would be one or two that make it the print that it is. Archers have none of these, loops have one, and wells have two. So now let's talk about the print. Now you know what each finger means and all of the different relations to it in palmistry. 
let's talk about these fingerprints. <clears throat> I wrote these all down so it's a lot to remember. <clears throat> okay. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The well. The well shows independence, authority, um, leadership. This may show a bossy but very driven person. The loop, most common globally, although a lot of these prints are found in Europeans. You can have an ulna or a radical loop, meaning it will go towards your thumb or your little finger. If it goes towards your thumb, this is a radical loop. If it goes towards your little finger, this is an ulna loop. Ulna loops show a social, generous person who is caring and giving and loyal. They seek peace, although they can over sacrifice. The radical loop is quite rare. It shows independence and enthusiasm and a person who is very, very knowledgeable in certain aspects. So this person may be a teacher or have the ability to be one. The arch typically shows an emotionally stable person. The higher the point can show the more intellect the person has or connection to the divine. Many famous people have arched fingerprints. They show an intuitive, nature loving, caring, compassionate personality. A very knowledgeable and open minded person. Then we have the tented arch print which may show a psychic person or someone with ESP abilities. This is generally a beautiful natured person in contact with the divine. They are often referred to as old souls. Then we have the peacock well. This is lucky if it's seen on the ring finger. This is a very kind down to earth person, but they may be a little bit disconnected to reality sometimes. So it's important that they spend time grounding. The composite loop or well, which is seen as a double loop or well. This is a very emotionally deep person who finds it hard to stay on path, really. They feel kind of scattered a lot. But often they benefit from helping others. And when they learn this, it will help to ground them and send them onto the right path. They are free spirits and earth lovers. They also can be great explorers. Tests have been conducted and show that people with composite wells to begin with often are the people who battle the most emotional, deep negativeness. And people with high tents are often people who have more happiness and drive and feel better in themselves so now you can look at your prints on each finger knowing the aspects and the planets and the characteristics of each finger and print connect them together and have some fun maybe you learn a bit more about yourself well you will because <laughs> you'll get to know your prints as always thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next videos. I have a lot more to do. There's a lot more to talk about. I did a lot of bloody studies. But for now, I gotta go pick my kids up. See you guys in the next video.